Okay, Dale Little here with Rescue American Ministries, and uh, this is the third take on this, so if I mess up a little bit, I'm going to let it go. Um, if it gets worse, I'll do like four. I'll do it over a fourth time. I have to. But I wanted to point out uh, this bolo tie I've got on um, with the white dove on it. That was a gift from a friend of mine uh, and helper, co-worker, came to help us in Romania with the church in Sickendale, uh, the church that God just worked an absolute miracle uh, at. And um, so um, I treasure it. Uh, he'd give it to me, uh, and his dad had given it to him. So uh, I appreciate that um, respect that he had. But saw me fit to you know have this uh, this bolo tie and then another friend uh, gave me this uh, it's a uh, metal off not off of but um, belongs on the uniform of a uh, police officer I think in uh, England uh, <clears throat> and he'd come to Romania and, and attended church with us and saw the work that was going on there and uh, He gave me a pair of these and I also count that an honor um, Those other things um, I've been invited to a place uh, called Nagaland by a couple that came that was um, touched by the, the teaching I was doing there and um that's such a long trip and hard trip. I don't think we'll ever make it, but uh, would love to be able to do that. You have to look Nagaland up. I don't want to take up too much of this time. But what I have going to do right now is uh, you can take just a little bit, um, and uh, we talk about the morning. Uh, it's evening right now here in western North Carolina for the hills, but morning is coming. Uh, and I think it's evening. I think it's late evening in time uh, here on this earth. And um, I think morning is soon coming in a different way. Uh, and so I hope, I've got three songs uh, like that. And I hope one of them maybe consider as a bonus song. So I've got three or four um, I want to do here. And I want to get started with it. <coughs> but just wanted to encourage you some. I do a lot of <coughs> uh, different things uh, on uh, social media. I uh, used to do the bike riding in, in Romania uh, and dubbed in some music with it. But, uh, and uh, the story behind it is I toured some of the villages there and places. Um, I've done some prophetic type, uh, you'd call, and I don't consider myself a prophet in a sense that many would, uh, but more of a New Testament type uh, that I call out sin and God's coming judgment uh, without repentance. That's what's coming. Matter of fact, it, we're already there. It's just going to get worse. Uh, and there's more to come if we uh, do not repent. And so far, well, I haven't seen a lot that's stuck starting to be some stirrings though so pray that that will continue and uh, be willing to uh, repent ourselves uh, then <coughs> um, I do uh, some teaching uh, on the eschatology of the last days I've went through a number of uh, books on that in the Bible and we're present in the book of Revelation chapter just trying to finish up four. Uh, I thought I was finished with it, but I got just a little more to do. And then we'll start in chapter five. So a lot of what I have many times though is not very pleasant to, uh, I don't really enjoy having to teach it, uh, but it has to be taught uh, because it's the word of God and it's the truth. Uh, but um, I just want to share a little bit now, maybe help encourage you a little bit. Um, things may, be get, may get worse before they get better. But when they get better, uh, it'll be indescribable. So uh, the morning's coming. Uh, 
I hope you'll be there, and uh, if you're not ready, then you need to get ready, because I think that morning is coming soon. Um, people can make things complicated, but if you're sincere, if you don't belong to him, then all you have to do is call upon his name and ask him to save you. Repent of your sins, uh, just tell him you're sorry. That's basically what you're doing, and and mean it. Uh, turn from your sins and follow Him. Uh, he will help you all the way. He said, "Never leave us nor forsake us." Um, <clears throat> and um, about got, mm, 
this next one. Uh, and most of these are, have been around for a while. You don't hear them too much anymore. But they were uh, mm, uh, been an inspiration to me over the years, that's for sure. And I hope they will to you. Once again, I pay Satan this morning, and I battle him all the day long. But in my weakness, God sent reinforcements, and at sundown, I'll sing victory songs. And the sun's coming up in the morning. Every tear will be gone from my eye. This old place is going to give way to glory. Like an eagle, I'll take to the sky. In a world filled with doubts and confusion It's so hard when you don't understand But I'll stand on a solid foundation And i hold to an unchanging hand And the sun's coming up in the morning every tear will be gone from my eye this old place is gonna give way to glory like an eagle i'll take to the sky and the sun's coming up in the morning this sure is the s-u-n came up this morning the s-o-n will be coming up and he will be the eternal light there'll be no need of the sun uh, when we get to that place in heaven uh, and here's the other one uh, about the morning <coughs> This is entitled, Come Morning. God's children too long have been burdened they are longing for heaven green shore where heartaches are left for behind us and burdens are carried no more come By the river, I'll rest neath the evergreen tree. So I'll carry my cross through the midnight. Come morning, there's glory for me. Sometimes I and rejected and I ask oh father how long then I take one more look at my Calvary and I find the strength to go 
Come morning, I walk by the river. And I'll rest neath the evergreen tree. So I'll carry my cross through the midnight. Come morning, let's go. Come morning, I walk by the river, and I rest neath the evergreen tree. So I'll carry my cross to the midnight. Come morning, there's glory. So I'll carry my cross to the midnight. Come morning, there's glory for me. A lot of you out there don't know anything about carrying a cross, and uh, that's what we're told to do. But uh, we want comfort, we want uh, at ease, and, and we want... Um, God to soothe our fears and uh, and certainly he do he'll do that uh, but uh, if that's all we're looking for just to, to be soothed and uh, comforted then you, you're missing out and you're going to be gravely disappointed at somewhere along the way because um, trials are going to come troubles are going to come and you need to be prepared and uh, the big best way to um, comfort your soul and to enjoy his peace is to repent is to search your heart and make sure that everything is right with him and that you're about his work he has a work for you I don't care who you are if you're a child of God then you left here for a reason and uh, many of you think it's just so God can just uh, comfort you and uh, that's it. Uh, no, there's work for you to do. The Bible says we're to be his ambassadors. We're to be his representatives here on earth. And uh, it's not easy. Um, I have people all the time that, you know, want to argue with me and tell me, you know, God's a myth. And, you know, I have to prove uh, that he exists if, uh, I guess, if I'm going to believe in it. So, But, you know, I have proved him for myself. I can't prove him to somebody else. They have to do that, but he, he will do it. Um, and I have more proof, more evidence. As a matter of fact, I have uh, absolute knowledge of him. Uh, he's invited us to come to know him. And so uh, he reveals himself to us. However, these people that argue with me, I've never seen before. Uh, they're on a computer. I see them on social media. And uh, all I see is a bunch of letters that are there formed into words. There's no person there. I don't see anyone. So they can't prove that they exist. I, I don't even know if they exist. You know, it could be a computer just typing this stuff out uh, on its own. Um, and um, so I have more proof that God exists than I do that they exist. Uh, so they're, they're uh, <laughs> trying to argue with the wrong person here uh, let me close with this it's a place that um, named for heaven that um, we don't hear too much about but uh, Squire Parsons made a song about it that, of course it was out before that but he made it famous um, uh, this song he wrote I think but there's uh, other songs about Beulah Land in the Bible I mean in the hymnals but This one's called Beulah Land. <clears throat> I'm kind of homesick for a country to which I've never been 
before no sad goodbyes will there be spoken cause time won't matter anymore Beulah land I am longing for you and someday on the I'll stand and there my home shall be eternal Beulah land sweet Beulah land I'm looking now just across the river to where my faith shall end in sight there's just a few more days to labor then I will take my heavenly And uh, you can go. Like I say, all you got to do is call on Jesus. The, uh, the two men went down to the temple, a publican and a sinner, uh, a publican and a, a Pharisee, actually. And so the Pharisee uh, stood there and uh, bragged and, and said, Lord, I'm glad I'm not like this man, this uh, uh, publican that uh, was such a sinner I, I'm better than he is and I, I've not done the things he's done but then uh, that publican the Bible says uh, beat upon his uh, chest and, and then he said Lord have mercy on me a sinner seven words and uh, guess what Jesus said he said that man went to his house justified and if that's good enough for Jesus then it's good enough for me uh, so it's not complicated uh, if we just call out from my heart, and the Bible says a uh, broken uh, or a contrite heart, broken spirit, he'll not uh, turn away. And so that's what he's looking for. He's not looking for some great deeds or something like that. And so I invite you to do that today if you've never done it. And you know his peace. You know this uh, God that I've been singing about. You can know... Uh, one day this morning that's coming and uh, you'll know one day this place called Beulah Land uh, it's also we call it heaven Dale Little Rescue American Ministries <laughs> <laughs> 